Won't you tell me if things have been bothering you? I've seen it in your eyes lately. It seems like... Well, you believe in me. There's something you disagree with, isn't there? I'm good at reading you. You're practically all I think about after all. And I need to know. Just tell me, baby. It's okay. I trust you. I never hurt you. Besides, I... I wouldn't know where or what to do without you. It's just emptiness. There's a big void in my heart. And you help keep it at bay. I just don't know what to do without you and... Come on, let's get going. We gotta... Meet Shigaraki. I know you still don't trust him. But I know... In comparison to the rest... He's the only one we can trust. Because he's the only one who has a reason to trust us. The other ones, you gotta be careful of. At least for now. Until we know what's going on. The League of Heroes is a mess right now. You've gotta understand. It's really hard for me to say this about my old friends. But I can't trust them yet. They might do something bad. And I can't risk something terrible happening to you. Or for me to get taken advantage of that way. It's too dangerous. As for Kachan, I just don't think he understands. He doesn't take it serious. All that we're doing. All the sacrifices made. That doesn't seem to be what he cares about. He just seems to want to be right. And I can't stand by that Kachan anymore. He constantly... Constantly... Makes things about being right. Instead of what's actually there. They're all not choosing to believe me. They're believing liars. And that's why I can't forgive them so easily. Would you just forgive someone? Could you just forgive someone? Calling you a liar to your face doesn't feel very nice. And really, come on, you know me. You know my friends. They chose their side. They thought I was too close to All Might. And I'm just some kind of crazy person, but I know I'm not. I know that I'm not crazy, that I'm not going insane either. It's not like that. They just don't understand me. They don't understand one bit. The world's gone to so much chaos lately that I, I just, I don't want to doubt them, but it doesn't work out otherwise. They just end up telling me I'm crazy. Telling me I'm wrong. And I can't stand it. Not anymore. I'm not wrong. They just don't want to believe me. For some reason. And I don't know that reason. Maybe I'm going on about this the wrong way. Maybe I've gone off the deep end in some form of the word. But I'm not crazy. I'm not, and I can prove it. Just wait. I'll prove all of them wrong. You'll stay with me, won't you? I've got a lot of ideas and ways to prove it. Don't you worry. I'm not losing myself. I never would. You always help me keep my feet on the ground, you know? That's how I know I'm still sane. Because when I look at you, I can still see that you love me. And 
Love is a powerful force. Not just anything can break apart love, if you think about it. If anything could, there's no way we'd be together anymore. And that's a sad thought. But I believe in you. I believe in you even if it... Even if it takes everything. I just... Uh, no. I'm... Okay. I promise. It's... Nothing. I just... Haven't been sleeping... Very well lately. Because I think... What if I sleep... And then... Something happens to you. I just don't know what I'd do. I understand. It might be risky, but I need to do this. It's the only way, isn't it? It's the only way I've ever known. There must be... Something... Something more... We can... Do... He doesn't look so great, does he? No offense to your choice in men. And he's pretty good looking. If he wasn't so... Exhausted. Now you know as much as me. I'm not gonna stand here and lecture you. It's your relationship. Just know that he's... Driving himself beyond his means. He's like me. And when you're like me... You don't know when to quit. You put yourself in a situation. One that's terrible. You don't care what it takes. No, that's not the point. You just know what has to get done at the end of the day. Or in my case, I didn't even know that. I just had this vague sense of duty. That somehow I needed to appease father. That I had to be something for him. And eventually, that I had to avenge him. But enough of that. Let's get him to the hideout. There's no sense in staying here. Plus, if you want to do something for him, there's always something you can do. It's a sad realization. I used to make excuses. And now I understand it. Life isn't all that complicated. Let's get going. Now I've seen that look anywhere. Hold up. Ugh. He's heavier than he looks. So... Why is it you... Why is it you're looking like that? If it were just me, I'd think you were looking that way as if you're kind of blaming yourself. Trust me, that's a self-deprecating way. You won't like it if you go down that path. You'll end up doing something stupid and making things more complicated. Something tells me I'm not going to get through to you, though. So, maybe you have to learn the hard way. Just don't say I didn't warn you. <sighs> we'll make it back to the hideout before you know it. I'd be using a Nomu to carry him. But I'm running short on those right now. And besides, it looks too conspicuous. Do you want every hero in the neighborhood to go and gallantly stop us from getting medical help to the pipsqueak? I'm sure you'd love to see that. It's a lovely sight. I, I just have seen it so many times. I'm getting in my way. No, of course not. Not knowing what I want to do. Not knowing what I'm trying to do. Just assuming my intent is selfish and pointless. You know, the usual hero thing. All bad guys are bad, right? 
It's nonsense. Just like all good guys aren't good. Maybe the only one was All Might. And even if he is alive, what does it matter? He's not the beacon of peace he used to be. So his power diminished. He's now an empty symbol. A figurehead without a perch. What do you do when you've lost your head? As a figurehead, you don't do anything. That's why I think this one is being stupid. Though I guess saving someone that you care about matters. Not to mention I'd be a hypocrite to criticize them. I tried to do the same thing. The whole revenge game, it turned ugly real quick. Now let's get a move on, shall we? Your little hubby here is gonna need some rest. Luckily, I've got just the thing. Cookies and tea. They'll obviously do the trick. Then once he's up, he can test my super secret recipe. I've got more of those than you'd think. I'm not only a scientist, but a chef too. Just wait until you try my pot roast. Eh? What's that supposed to mean? I am most certainly not like a mom. Are you trying to get me to hurt you? You're not doing a very good job at this, of not not wanting me to hurt you. Wait, that's a double negative. Ignore that. Sometimes I get a little ahead of myself. It's nothing that a little tea and video games can't help. Did I tell you I'm a hopeless addict to video games? I play so many of them. Do you have any that you like? I'm sure there's some. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You're not the type. Well, maybe just a bit. Fine. While we wait for your hubby to wake up, how about I challenge you in a few games? You're on, Pipsqueak. That's if you have the guts to even face me. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. And I thought you were all talk. Well... I guess we haven't proven it yet, but I like where your eyes are. You have some determination in you. I can appreciate that. Now, why don't you choose the game? I've got pretty much every game in existence. Being a supervillain had its perks of money. Though that's all I really spent it on. That and food. You understand. The two vices of life that matter, wouldn't you say? Oh, you're someone of culture, I see. I can appreciate that. In fact, it's superb. I approve of such dedication. Some people waste all their time in the arts, and I have appreciation because they make all these good games. But honestly, I'm greedy. I like experiencing them. Creating is purely for science, at least for me. Making no move friends and all kinds of things. I love creating new things. So I guess it's an oxymoron. Because I'm no amazing programmer but give me a person and I'll make them amazing. Well, time and many failed experiments later. Though, of course, it's all willing. Huh? What's going on? Shigaraki? Hey, what are you doing carrying me? Oh, uh, hi, babe. Well, now that you're up, 
You can sit on my shoulders, and we'll be like old buddy old pals. Uh, I mean, I guess so. I don't mind. I'm still feeling a little woozy. Yeah, you kind of overworked yourself here. Lucky I found you. Can you imagine having this frail love of yours carry you all the way back to the hideout that they probably don't know where it is? Yeah, I might have overdid it. I'm sorry, you two. Apologize on your own time. It doesn't matter anyways. Besides, all's well that ends well. I'm glad we had our talk last time. Frankly, I don't know what I would have done if it hadn't been just like that. Who knows? Maybe we would have never been able to talk. Maybe we would have just been enemies while being the same person on different sides. Yeah, I kind of get where you're coming from. It's thanks to that person walking beside you that I'm able to... Oh, suck it up, Zappy. I get it. They're a pretty awesome person. And I gotta play some games with them later. No experimenting. You got it? Oh, come on. I'm not some kind of hack job. I only do experiments when they're needed. When people ask for them. Or when I'm feeling especially adventurous. I don't like the sound of that last one, Shigaraki. Come on, I was only joking, pal. I'd never do something like that. As long as you're serious. I can't have anything happen to them. They're everything to me. Surely, you of all people understand that. Yeah, don't remind me. I'm still dealing with a lot of that myself. It's not all daisies and happy time. There's plenty of it. That's kind of difficult, actually. Especially reflecting on the past. Yeah, I get that. It's fine. We'll be a team. We'll solve this thing and crack the Heroes Association open until they... until they give the truth. I'm actually not that interested. Not in getting revenge anymore. I just want the world to accept me. I want it to be a place where it doesn't have to be us versus them anymore. Heroes versus villains. It gets so old. And plus, it gets tiresome. Always being considered the bad guy. Everything I stand for. It gets so annoying. It's not as if I'm not a human being. Sure, maybe I had my downsides. Maybe I did things. But I've never been exceedingly cruel. And yet, everyone treats me like I have been. It's kind of unfair, you know. They just keep going on about something I didn't do. Being made out to be a villain kind of makes you want to live it just to prove them. Well, you want to prove them wrong. But it doesn't make it easy. Because you also feel like you want them to kind of... Never mind. It's just complicated, okay? I'll be fine, but let's just worry about things one day at a time. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's better not to get overwhelmed and think too far ahead or else... Yeah, things don't always 
go as planned. I know that firsthand. Look, Shigaraki. It's okay, see? I'm on your shoulders like this, and together we're, we're even taller. Are you trying to say that I'm a beanpole? I guess you wouldn't be wrong. No, I wasn't really saying that, but <laughs> that's a funny way of putting it, I guess. <laughs> now the real question is, what game do we play first? Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. I feel like sprinting. Hang on tight, Midoriya. And you, keep up with us. You can do it, right? You're not carrying the soap on your shoulders, so it's okay. You can, well, manage somehow. Don't get left behind, because I can't give you a hand. Shigaraki, <laughs> you're always going to make those hand jokes, aren't you? <laughs> uh, can't tell if you're hopeful or hopeless. Hey, don't talk that way about your new buddy. We're not buddies. We're just working together. Aw, oh, you're gonna hurt my feelings. That's not what we agreed to, old buddy old pal. We agreed to help each other, sure. But I don't help people who aren't my friends. I guess it's okay. You just gotta promise you won't do anything too bad. No, of course not. Why would I? Besides, hurting people is... Well, I've been hurt plenty of times, and I don't really like it. So why should I take it out on others? I could just take it out on video game monsters. Then everybody can be happy. Plus, I only give people a hand really need it. Yeah. I understand. Liars. I can't forgive them. They're... They're all just being fooled, but I can't save them that way. Ah, don't sweat it. You'll be able to get through to them eventually. They'll listen to you. They have to. That or they'll get in your way. And then you'll have to do something about them. Not that it's a problem. If someone's going to insist to be an idiot. You can't be held responsible for them. It's not your job to pick up their mess. Yeah. I guess you're right. I just want to help my friends. It's not that. I... I have so much that I want to do. So much that I need to accomplish, not just for me, but for them too. Sheesh, you're always concerned with others. When will you have time for yourself? What do you mean? I have plenty of time for myself, and besides, they're with me. You're always on about them. You need to broaden your horizons. Now, I'm not saying you can't have lovey-dovey over here, but that doesn't mean that you can't have friends, too. You trust me, don't you? And we used to be enemies. I almost killed you. Many times. You almost killed me with that punch when we first met. It's been... quite the up and down. But I wouldn't trade it. You know what they say, a storied past makes for a good story. Yeah, I guess. It's just kind of strange. Especially with Kachan. You're always on about him, too. What makes him such a good friend? All I've ever seen of him is him abusing you. He doesn't seem to cherish you very much. I bet you I could give his best friend card. A run for its money. Why don't you play some games with me? Maybe we can do some experimenting. You know, the ethical ones. Find a cure for cancer, and then call it a night. Of course, after cookies. 
Wow. That's quite the ambition you have there, Shigaraki. If you're being serious, that is. I'm always being serious. Just no one takes me serious, because I always have fun at what I do. It doesn't make me a joke, just because I like to have fun, does it? Nah, I don't think so. At least, I don't consider you a joke. I considered you cruel once, but I believe that you've changed. We've both done some pretty horrible things, so maybe at least we can relate on that. Guilt has such a way of making you face yourself, doesn't it? Only once you've lost it can you lay there and look up at the stars and really know that they're looking back. Now, I don't believe in any greater power. It's not my place. But I believe I'm here to change the world. And I believe you can help me. I also believe that you have a good image of it. A good heart. Though that doesn't make me trust you, it's not that. It's that you've known the suffering I have. We both struck a blow that cannot be undone. And for that, I think it's perfect. Perfect that we team up. Suffering has a way of being the best teacher. And, you know, even those terrible times that make me sad, if I look at them and learn from them, then I can at least say that I've become stronger as a side effect. I believe you can too. We're not so different in that right, eh, Midoriya? Yeah, I understand. The world's been crazy lately, and... Yesterday's enemies, today's friend, I guess. Is this the place? It looks surprisingly normal. What do you take me for? I don't just work in some kind of laboratory all day. I've got my house. And a pretty normal place. The hideout's just, well, a souped-up hangout. Nothing too crazy. Do you like what you see? It's got lots of little mini-fridges. That's kind of my thing. I loved me some mini-fridges. So I had a question. What's all this to you? Shigaraki, you shouldn't ask them. It's fine. I'm not interrogating them. Come on, we're all buddies and pals. I just want to know where they stand. Why they follow you like a puppy dog. There must be a reason. Well, it's because that one time and all of that and... You don't need to talk for them. Let them speak. I'm all ears. Go for it. Oh. Hmm. I see. Fascinating. Looks like you've got yourself quite the admirer. I appreciate that. If you've managed to make such a wonderful romantic partner, then you're probably going to be just fine here. Welcome. Welcome to your new home. There's plenty of room for everything. I've got drinks and all kinds of things. Thanks so much. Enjoy your stay. Oh, but before that, I'd like you to meet Pico. Come here, Pico. Yeah. That's a good little fella. Pico's my pet bird. Pico want a cracker? <laughs> Whoa, I never expected you to have any pets. Well, he's not exactly a normal pet. He's quite smart. I've been trying to get him so smart, 
He can have a conversation on his own. He's not quite there yet, but he tries. <laughs> He's a cute little fella, isn't he? Well, I guess that's something. Do you just eat junk food all the time? Well, it's not junk food if I cook it from scratch. You understand. I cook with liquid nitrogen and, and acid and all kinds of things. I make food and science meet halfway. Speaking of that, your bird is a little plump there, isn't he? I like to call him Chunky, but some people like to call him Plumpy. It doesn't matter. He doesn't mind either. Pico's a good boy. I'll make sure that everyone gets along, don't you worry. <laughs> Shigaraki, you're sounding like someone's mom now. Hey, I'm not a mom. Not yet. I'm too young and beautiful for that. Okay, okay. Enough joking around. I think I'm not fully recovered. Hey, babe? Mind playing some games with me? Ooh, count me in too. Though calling me babe like that, you might make someone jealous. I wasn't talking about you, Shigaraki. Obviously, I was talking about you know who right there. Ah, you lovebirds. You're gonna make me and Pico jealous. Don't worry, Pico. I'll marry you. Ah! Oh, that a boy. You know who's the bird, Mom. Well, I I'm not really a mom, but you know. <laughs> so, what game would you like to play? Ooh, good choice. I love Mortal Wombat. That's one of my favorites. All right, I'll take you on. My favorite is Sub-Hero. Though, I've heard that one of the coolest characters is that underrated fellow. Don't they call him Morpian? I, I don't know real well. It's okay, though. We'll just make sure that it... Well, uh... I'm gonna kick your butt! That's what I meant to say. Aw, you're stumbling on your words. It's adorable. Don't worry about things like that, because you're saying you'll beat them. Winner can try challenging me, and I'm sure you'll get a taste of reality. <laughs> you're thinking you're so much better? We'll see about that. Don't you have to beat them first? <clears throat> yeah, but I'm sure I'm more experienced and more talented. No, not like that. I just... I meant like... Oh no. You seem to have talked yourself into a pickle now. Eh, uh, I can explain. I meant that I, I'm more practiced in the game. <laughs> yeah, see? They understand. They know I wouldn't say that I'm better than them. They mean the world to me after all. So, you know... Oh, love-struck people. They always make me so happy and so jealous. Did you know? I once loved someone like that. Unfortunately, they stabbed me in the back. Though I'm sure you'll hear about it someday. <laughs> Come on, Shigaraki. Now you're talking like you're so much older. You're only like two years older than me. Don't talk to me like I'm your... Eh, fine. You know what? That's fine, too. I don't even mind. You can do whatever you like. But I'm gonna tell you. When it comes to games, I'm dead serious. So I'll take the kitty gloves off. You'll have to deal with me at my full power. Or at least using 1% of my power. Are you... That green guy with the dog? Look, 
I don't know what you're talking about. But I've got plenty of power where this comes from. Let's go. Round one. Ding, ding, ding. Go get him. Take that. You're not too bad yourself. Hey, babe. What do you think you're doing? Gonna embarrass me in front of... No, I can't complain. You won that round fair and square. But I won't give you the next one so easy. Come on. Go ahead and put your whole heart into it. It'll only make me happy if I beat you when you're doing your best. That's what matters. Mm. Ah, see? I can do it when I put my heart into it. Though I'm surprised. We're neck and neck, aren't we? That's kind of awesome. I didn't expect it to be so close, but... No, I wasn't underestimating you. I, I just... I'm not used to playing with someone around the same level. <laughs> nah, it's great that way. Ooh, looks like Midoriya is just like me. Competition's the only way to go. This is a tough one. I'm gonna go all out. And? <laughs> just barely beat you, babe. It's okay. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. You were so close to beating me. That one move you did. You did such a good combo on me. I didn't expect it. You caught me by surprise and I nearly lost right then and there. The only reason I won, I think, is you got a little too excited. I think you saw that victory line and you just... You went for it. But it kind of made you predictable. <laughs> Ooh, words of wisdom. But what do you think? Is that where this story ends? Or are you gonna face me, Midoriya? Face me like you've never faced me before. You're on, Shigaraki. We're gonna settle this like we never did before. Hey, I just said that. Uh, I didn't have a cool line to say, so I I borrowed it? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> You're pretty scary, aren't you, Shigaraki? But I won't let you get away with that. <laughs> Take this! Oh, yeah? You're not bad yourself. But I think I'm gonna have to school you in the arts of true fighting. <laughs> Dang it. Looks like you got me. Can't go on. Only one hit. Come on. <clears throat> Naive. But I got you. <laughs> Uh, foiled again. Dang it. I just couldn't beat you. Ah, don't think of it that way. I just spend way too much time on this game. Why do you think I've got an arcade in the basement? Well, I, I guess so. I just thought... Nah, don't think about it too much. It's all fine and dandy. You'll be just fine. You might beat me in the next round. You never know. Y yeah. All right. Your evil doing ends here, villain. Who do you think you're calling a villain? Is this role play all of a sudden? Fine. Come on, hero. Show me what that symbol of justice you got can do. Hey, are you calling me the next All Might? Maybe you might even be better than All Might. I personally think you're a lot less hypocritical than him. I mean, he wasn't really hypocritical, right? It was more like... He just... Never mind. Let's do this, villain. 
<laughs> That's what I like to hear. Let's get going. Get ready for my special move. <laughs> Not quite yet. Don't get too predictable, Shigaraki. Take this! Wow, I've never seen anyone do that before. Kind of amazing, actually. Creative. I'll give you that. <laughs> Glad you like it. So that leaves us at 1-1. We'll see how the third round goes. I have a way with playing, well, a lot of different ones. I like them. Variety is the spice of life. And my arsenal. Pico thinks so too. Right, Pico? Uh, uh, uh. I think that's a yes. Anyways, you're on. Let's do this. Mm. Yeah. That's nothing. Oh, yeah? I'll show you that it takes more than that to beat me. Oh, really? Then go ahead and show me. Oh, yeah? Take that. Mm. You're getting really into it. It's kind of adorable. Wh what do you mean? I... <laughs> An opportunity! And it's my victory. Hey, that's cheating, isn't it? All's fair in love and war. And I love you. You're a dear friend to me, so it's fair, right? Please say yes. You know you want to. With cherries on top and ice cream, let's all go get some ice cream. Speak of the devil, I got a presentation. What do you mean by that? A presentation? Well, I thought it'd be nice to give you something of a show. Why not just make ice cream from scratch in 3.5 seconds? You can do that? I thought it took a long of time to churn it and stuff. Is there really a way? Mm, tisk tisk. You doubt the great Shigaraki? No, my science is for the real questions, like how to get ice cream faster so the world can have more ice cream, even entire rivers flowing of it. Though I wouldn't recommend swimming in it. Tests show that it's just too goopy and too cold. Why do I feel like you've tested it personally? How'd you know? Did Pico tell you? No, it's just kind of... Never mind. Well, suit yourself. But here we go. Get ready for a masterpiece. Completely silent at that. Just two drops and... Bam! There we are. Instant ice cream. Churned as if it was done for eight hours. Whoa, that's kind of amazing, don't you think, babe? Now, Deku, you know I love you, but I'm not your babe. Shigaraki, you know I was talking to them. <laughs> I'm just playing. It's no big deal, right? Now, I'd love to stay and soak up the praises, but after this ice cream, I got something I have to take care of. You two just enjoy yourselves, and welcome to... Well, I can't even call it that anymore. It's, uh, the League of People, because we're not really villains anymore. What do you mean? Well, let's just say someone kind of took my... my organization from me. It stung. I realized something. A lot of things. And now it's so... Uh, we'll call it something else. 
I don't know. Uh, the secret hideout crew or something. Uh, Shigaraki, you're kind of terrible at names, aren't you? I... I'm okay. Uh, sometimes. I mean, Experiment 03 was the third one that day, so it made sense. Oh, brother. You're so helpless. Did you just call me your brother? I mean, I'll be your brother, old pal. We can get along and stay up late and talk about girls. Uh, I... I mean, well... No, we can talk about boys, too. I don't mind. Th that's not what I meant. I, I meant I have someone already. <laughs> oh, you sly dog, you. That's okay. They can come with us, too. They'll be the extra sibling. We'll be a happy family. Anyways, I'm done with my ice cream. So toodles, you two. Don't do too many crazy things without me. Ciao. See you around. Uh, see ya, Shigaraki. Well, I guess it's just you and me now. Not that I'm complaining. Hey, baby. Are you happy? You're sure you're okay with things here? With following me? It's okay. I just want to protect you and you're mine and I... I can't let anyone have you. I can't trust them. I can't trust the world with you. So come on. Let's enjoy ourselves while we have time. I'm feeling almost all better. You don't need to worry, babe. I'll be just fine. I'm almost indestructible. I promise. Well, what do you mean you're going to test that? Babe, you got a kind of scary look in your eyes. shouldn't be doing this. Not here. Otherwise, we'll end up making a mess, and then that wouldn't be right. Uh, especially not here. What do you mean? It's not alright, even if we go to our rooms. You know... Somehow he's gonna know. And he'll tease us for it. What do you mean he probably expects it? Aren't you just making excuses at this point? Not that I blame you. Fine. Then 
I guess that's the only way. Let's at least lock the door. Mm-hmm. You can leave the rest to me. What do you mean? You're getting revenge for earlier? Do you mean when I beat you at the game? No. Baby, don't do that. Careful with your hand. What do you mean this is round two? I can't... I can't stop you. Don't make me use my power. What's with that smile? You know I could just overpower you. D th then why am I not? Well, there's obviously good reason for that. No, it's not that I can't activate my power when you're touching me there. It's that... It's that it feels really good. Yeah, just like that. I don't care where we are anymore. Baby... Uh, oh, 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 yeah, just like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, baby. Uh, uh. How do you always know how to get to me? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry for making such a mess, but it's your fault. You... You did this. I couldn't help myself. No, not like this. Um. You really know how to be forward with your ideas, don't you? What do you mean I need to shut up and... Fine. Mm. 
った Not looking so tough now, are you? <laughs> What happened to the high and mighty look you had? Did you exhaust yourself? Aw,、oh, how cute. What do you mean? I'm one to talk. Oh, yeah? I'll show you. <laughs> Yeah. You seem like you're waiting for something. What is it, baby? Could it be this? Ah.、Uh. Uh. You like that? Yeah, I bet you do. You don't even need to tell me, I can see it on your face.、Uh. Yeah, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Too much more.、Uh, grab close. Yeah. Don't let go. I love you, baby. Baby. Much, baby. Yeah. Just relax.、Uh, uh, <laughs> I guess you kind of got revenge, didn't you? A little bit. But I guess you'll have to try harder to beat me. 
<laughs> don't do that, baby. No, don't do it. <laughs> no, I can't take tickles. <laughs> oh my goodness. You've got some nerve doing that one. Who do you think you are, baby? Come on. Don't be doing that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I... I love it, but... That's... That's off limits. You can't tickle me. Besides, what if... What if you tickled the life out of me? <laughs> no, I get it. Don't... Worry about a thing, okay? I got you. <laughs> Are you happy? That's my main concern. Is that you're actually happy? I really want to make you happy, and there's so much that I still need to do, still need to accomplish, and it's overwhelming sometimes. Thank you for always being there. I'll be sure to make sure I pace myself. Ugh. Just felt a little lightheaded. That's all. It's nothing serious, babe. Don't even worry about it. Want to watch some Blue's Clues or something? I'm sure there's something nice for us to watch. I mean, knowing Shigaraki... He's probably got all the expensive channels, too. So, what do you say, babe? Up for a little throwback? <laughs> I really love you. Let's be together forever. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. I love you, darling. And I'll protect you from all the fake heroes and all the villains that would do us harm. You can trust me. Okay? <laughs> I love that smile. It's the one that keeps me going. Through it all. Never lose it, okay, baby? I promise. We'll get through this together. <laughs> 